Debendranath Tagore Bengali Debendranatha Thakura Debindranath Thakur the 15th of May 1817 to the 19th of January 1905 was a Hindu philosopher and religious reformer active in the Brahmo Samaj Society of Brahman also translated as Society of God which aimed to reform the Hindu religion and way of life he was one of the founders in 1848 of the Brahmo religion which today is synonymous with Brahmoism a Bengali, he was born in Shailadaha. His father was the industrialist Dwarkanath Tagore. Dabendranath was a deeply religious man. His movement, the Brahmo Samaj, was formed in 1843 by merging his Tatwabodini Sabha with the Brahmo Sabha, ten years after the death of Raja Ram Mohan Roy, founder of the Brahmo Sabha. The Brahmo Sabha had fallen away from its original aims and practices, as stated in its trust deed of Brahmo Sabha, however, Tagore aimed to revive the importance of this deed. Although Dabendranath was deeply spiritual, he managed to continue to maintain his worldly affairs, he did not renounce his material possessions, as some Hindu traditions prescribed, but instead continued to enjoy them in a spirit of detachment. His considerable material property included estates spread over several districts of Bengal, most famously, the Santinaketan estate near Bolpur in the Burbam district, a later acquisition, where his eldest son Dwajendranath Tagore set up his school. Dabendranath was a master of the Upanishads and played no small role in the education and cultivation of the faculties of his sons. Thakur Bari House of Tagores. Dabendranath Tagore was born to the Tagore family in Jorasanko, popularly known as Jorasanko Thakur Bari in northwestern Kolkata, which was later converted into a campus of the Rabindra Bharati University. The Tagore family, with over 300 years of history, has been one of the leading families of Calcutta, and is regarded as a key influence during the Bengal Renaissance. The family has produced several persons who have contributed substantially in the fields of business, social and religious reformation, literature, art and music. <laughs> Children Dabendranath married Sarada Devi died 1875, and they together had 15 children. They included Dwajendranath was an accomplished scholar, poet and music composer. He initiated shorthand and musical notations in Bengali. He wrote extensively and translated Kalidasa's Meghdut into Bengali. Satendranath was the first Indian to join the Indian civil service. At the same time he was a scholar. Hamendranath was the scientist and organizer of the family. He was a spiritual seer and yogi and he was responsible for development of modern Brahmoism which is now the Adi Dharm religion. He was a doer of his Tagore generation and worthy successor to his grandfather Dwarkanath and father. He sided with his conservative siblings Dwajendranath and Barendranath in the family disputes against modern Satendranath, Jyotindranath and Rabindranath. Jyotirindranath was a scholar, artist, music composer and theatre personality. Rabindranath was his youngest son. A Nobel laureate in literature, his poems have been adopted as national anthems of India and Bangladesh. Rabindranath founded the Vishwabharathi University in the Shantaniketan estate acquired by his father. His other sons were Barendranath (1845–1915), Punyendranath, Budhendranath, and Somendranath. His daughters were Sudamini, Sukumari, Sarakumari, Swarnakumari (1855–1932), and Barnakumari. Sudamini was one of the first students of Bethune School and a gifted writer. Swarnakumari was a gifted writer, editor, song composer, and social worker. All of them were famous for their beauty and education. His part in creating the legacy of Thakurbari, the House of Tagore, in the cultural heritage of Bengal, centered in Kolkata, was not negligible. It was largely through the influence of the Tagore family, following that of the writer Bankam Chandra Chatterjee, that Bengal took a leading role on the cultural front as well as on the nationalistic one, in the Renaissance in India during the 19th century. Religion. 
As son of Dwarkanath Tagore, a close friend of Ram Mohan Roy, Dabendranath came early into the influence of Brahmoism through the Brahmo Sabha, a reformist movement in Hinduism formulating as Adi Dharma, original Dharma what it considered as the original pristine principles of Hinduism corrupted over time. But even earlier, deeply affected in childhood by the death of his grandmother to whom he was greatly attached, Dabendranath was drawn to religion and began contemplating the meaning and nature of life. He commenced a deep study of religious literature, particularly the Upanishads. In 1839, with tutelage from Pandit Ram Chandra Vidyabhagish, a leader of the Brahmo Sabha, he formed his own active Tatwabodini Sabha Truth Seekers Association to spread his new experiences and knowledge. In 1843, Dabendranath started the Tatwabodini Patrika as mouthpiece of the Tatwabodini Sabha. In the same year, he revived the Brahma Sabha, fallen in vigour and following since the death of Ram Mohan Roy in 1833. The Brahma Sabha was formally absorbed into the Tatwabodini Sabha and renamed as Calcutta Brahma Samaj. The day Poos 7 of the Bengali calendar is commemorated as the foundation day of the Samaj. The Patrika became the organ of the Samaj and continued publication till 1883. In 1848, Dabendranath codified the Adi Dharma doctrine as Brahmo Dharma Bij, seed of the Brahmo Dharma. In 1850, he published a book titled Brahmo Dharma enshrining the fundamental principles. These principles emphasize monotheism, rationality, and reject scriptural infallibility, the necessity of mediation between man and God, caste distinctions, and idolatry. With the influence of Brahmoism under Dabendranath spreading far and wide throughout India, he gathered reputation as a person of particular spiritual accomplishment and came to be known as Maharshi. His spiritual stature was confirmed by Sri Ramakrishna, the great Hindu sage of the 19th century who paid Dabendranath a visit, cn. date equals October 2015 mentioned in the Gospel of Ramakrishna, abridged version from page 347 to 350 Dabendranath's roles in the Bengal Renaissance and the reform and rejuvenation of Hindu religion are considerable. Influence and views on the Brahmo Samaj In 1843, Dabendranath Tagore became the leading force of the Brahmo Sabha, which he renamed to Brahmo Samaj. Dabendranath wished to change the goal of Brahmoism to act as a vehicle for theological and social renewal. In opposition to the founder of the Brahmo movement under Rammohan Roy who expressed Unitarianism and Universalism, Dabendranath wished to assert the cultural and theological primacy of Vedantic Hinduism. This change is likely due to increasing pressures from Christian propaganda. Tributes <inaudible> 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 Sivanath Sastri has paid glowing tributes to Dabendranath Tagore in History of the Brahmo Samaj. Maharshi Dabendranath Tagore was one of the greatest religious geniuses this country ever produced. He was truly a successor of the great rishis of old. His nature was essentially spiritual. He was a devout follower of the Upanishadic rishis, but was no pantheist on that account. Dabendranath, in spite of his real sainthood, never put on the grab or habits of sadhu or saint. His piety was natural, habitual and modest. He hated or shunned all display of saintliness. He was a true and living embodiment of that teaching of the Gita where it is said, a truly wise man is never buffeted by his trials and tribulations, does not covet pleasure, and is free from attachment, fear and anger, the same as a Muni. Maharshi Dabendranath was a true Muni in that respect. He calmly bore all, even the greatest griefs of life. After having done his duty, he quietly rested, regardless of consequences. Though personally not much in favor of the idea of female emancipation, he was one of the first men in Bengal to open the door of higher education to women. Valuing conscience in himself, he valued it in all about him. Religious life was growth to him, not an intellectual ascent but a spiritual influence that pervaded and permeated life, consequently, he had not much sympathy with merely reformatory proceedings. From the West he took only two ideas, first, the idea of fidelity to God, secondly the idea of public worship, in all other things he was Oriental. His idea was to plant the Samaj in India, as the Hindu mode of realizing universal theism, leaving the other races to realize that universal faith according to their traditional methods. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Bibliography. Topic: Bengali Bangla Bishay Sanskrit of Yakaran 1838, now lost. Brahmadharma, first and second parts, 1849. Atmeda Vividya, 1852. Brahmadharma Mat O Biswas, 1860. Pasham Pradeshar Durbiksha Upasham Sahajya Sangrarth Brahmo Samajar Bhaktrita, 1861. Brahmadharma Bayakian, part one, 1861. Kalikata Brahmo Samajar Bhaktrita, 1862. Brahmo Bibaha Pranali, 1864. Brahmo Samajar Panchabingshati Batsara Parikshita Britanta 1864 Brahmadharmar Anisthan Padhati 1865 Bhawanapur Brahmavidyalayar Upadesh 1865 to 66 Brahmadharmar Bayakian Part 2 1866 Masik Brahmo Samajar Upadesh a collection of 18 lectures delivered during 1860 to 67 Brahmadharmar Bayakian Epilogue 1885 Gyan O Dharmar Unati 1893 Paralak O Mukti 18 1895, Adio Giovanni, 1898, Patravali, a collection of letters written during 1850 87. Topic: English. Vedantic doctrines vindicated, 1845. Autobiography, translated from the original Bengali work, Atmajavani, by Satendranath Tagore, 1914.